It's time for some Simic and Artifacts in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in, my friends. If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you got a question, if you got a comment along the way, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you and would love to see you in our Discord server. A couple things about this, as always, we'll break down this list. We'll go play that competitive standard best of one here today for you and pull it all back together. Win or lose, as we like to say, rain or shine. Now, with that, Simic Artifacts here has gotten a new card in the upgrade trade uh, in list essentially in the main board here due to murders at Karlov Manor the big one being this case of the filched falcon I probably butchered that but anyway when this case enters the battlefield you get to investigate here to solve you control three or more artifacts when you solve sacrifice this case put four plus one plus one counters on target non-creature artifact it becomes a zero zero bird creature will fly in addition to its other types this is going to give us that ability to go over the top making a huge difference quickly early on in your matches now again this list is heavily predicated on some pretty awesome things um early out of the gate again being able to have some spot removal here with uh hard hitting question as well in terms of additional upgrade from murders at Karlov manor however we still take advantage of the teething wormlet uh spyglass siren ginger brute here um surge engine uh subterranean schooner tough cookie agatha's soul cauldron um, kite sail larcenist and zodic glyph which is the great one to put on becoming that five four plus that discover there um, and then additionally here sentinel the nameless city it's a very very nice curve curves out and tops out at three making sure that again that you can curve out nicely here very well balanced as well and then we got back up here with murex <coughs> excuse me and a lot of great balance in terms of land support and restless vine stock with the man lands as we like to call them so strategy objective of this one is really kind of again putting pressure on it's it's aggressive kind of pivots to a mid-range just due to the sheer fact that you can make a lot of these um artifact tokens really work in your favor with things like this or build more with surge engine over time um also having that ability to to um go through your opponents relatively quickly with this one um, and really, really helping you close matches there too. So um, let's go ahead and get into it here with Simic Artifacts. Again, the two key pieces between these two um, from Murders at Karlov Manor. All right, let's get into it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Simic Artifacts, 55% win rate. Again, healing to us from untapped. As always, we got swag and merch available to you. Other great things and ways to support the channel down below. Thank you. Zarl's Cobra, Carl's Cobra. Um, I do like this somewhat. We don't have a one drop though. This can be problematic. We do have Agatha's, um, which can be nice whenever you spend that mana for mana of eight colored activate abilities. Creatures you control, plus one, plus one. Um, those kinds of things too. I'm actually gonna mulligan. There we go. Because I want Wormlet. So we'll keep six. I'm actually going to drop this one. Oh, but when it enters, we get that map token, which is nice. I do want that at three. All right, let's do this. We could have taken the rest, though. We could have taken the rest just due to the way the lands are based. Um, however, I figured let's go this way first. Because I want to get this tough cookie in there too. Ooh, so this is nice. Um, can't play that one yet. We can play this. Now again, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under control, gain one life. And this is the first time it resolves. Put a plus one, plus one. So let's go ahead and do this first. That tees us up on our turn two. As well for this. To hit with this. Play again. Go there. And in for three. We can keep that one as well. 
as we can play that here next. We got a few things we can do. We got to keep that pressure on though, um, which is going to make a huge, huge difference here. I may actually play this as well um, instead. Because I'm going to suspect that they try and kill the, the shooter here. Because we could go this way again. I expect it, so let's see what they do. We can do this. There we go. There's the land. Let's do it anyway. There it is. Here comes the kill spell on it. Ooh. Keep that as well. There's the sack. Now this time I'm going to do this instead. There's the good old wanderer. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. So we'll still get what we wanted, the Zodic Glyph to hit. There we go. Let's get rid of that. One another land, actually. Here comes the board wipe. Ooh, not quite. Let's see what they decide to do here. Let your blade do the talking. Lots of kill spells out of the gate there. Um, we can do a few things here. There we go. Now we still have this too that we can use. Oh, all kinds of kill spells there, my friends. Now, we do have this as well. For five. Take that thing off the board. Now, don't forget, they do have their Field of Rune in there that they can use to take this thing off the board as well. They figured it out here. We'll go grab a forest. Oops, I did the wrong one. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah. That may cost me. Oh. 
we'll see. Here we go. Did the wrong one again. I'm real. Get, I'm getting real good at that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, next time we can go over the top. There we go. Okay, we made up for that. That's okay. That's okay. We'll take it. We need one of those once in a while. Clicking the wrong ones. Play a little bit slower. That's usually my recommendation in that situation. Um, our opponent there primarily is a mid-range-esque or um, uh, Orzov Super Friends list is essentially what that was. Um, as you can see, our list end up playing nicely against that low curve. The ability to kind of keep rifling, keep uh, cycling through cards makes a huge, huge difference there um, for us as well. All right. Match two million. All right, now this time we go first again, but the problem is we don't have enough lands. We could try and get real aggressive with it because we have the investigates uh, twice. So I'm actually gonna do this though, it's a little bit better. Um, Wormlet's good, we can keep that one. I like Agatha's. Um, let's keep this. This time we'll get rid of a land. Two or more lands. Um, let's get rid of this for now. Do the pinger. That little extra life can make a huge difference once in a while, too. Ooh, um, we'll do this. that figured there was the helix That hurt pretty badly. And again, we're still running into that mana problem that we debated so heavily early on, too. Just too bad. Oh. No, painful. <laughs> it's okay, we haven't had a game like this in a while, actually, so it's only how it works in Karma. This is going to be the Jeskai Dragons list if they're dropping the dragon there. Um, to be honest, that's how it's going to work. There we go, here's our three. I'm going to expect... Uh, that we get countered here. Exactly.
Try it again. Doesn't matter. Ooh, the memory deluge. We'll keep playing. That's how this works. Even though they are much further ahead of us. They get Zergo in here, though. Alright, let's try it again. They can go dig here all the way with seven. Plenty of map tokens for our opponent here. There we go. Can't really do anything. Let's just throw it here. Let's see what they do, uh, quite honestly. Giving them a five, four. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. We weren't coming back from that at that point in time, unfortunately. Let's go to our third and final battle. A good first one had some challenges. Second one had certainly a lot of challenges there on our mana base. To be fair though, I don't think it really would have made too big of a difference on us um, in terms of what was going on. They had enough counter magic to what they needed. If we could have got some of those five fours on the board, they wouldn't have been able to remove them though with the helix. That would have been the one thing that they could have done uh, a little bit differently. Getting hit with that counter um, was pretty brutal. We can play this one here. So let's go ahead and do it. Now, uh, none of these we're gonna be able to play out of the gates. So we might as well just play this. Again, a little slow out of the gate. All right, so we have our enchantment list here. We'll grab this one. Return the favor. Uh oh. That is good because we can bounce it. But we're not going to be able to do it out of the gate here. Now, if we block and get by here... It might have enough, though. Oh, they did. And this was not good enough there because we didn't have enough of the legendary, unfortunately, to make it happen. The only thing we could have done is if we would have kept this back as well, then double blocked, we probably could have been in an okay spot, but just not quite enough there today. However, nonetheless, a super, super fun list. I really do like this Simic one. It's something different. It's something fun. Um, on top of that, it does run 55%, regardless of the fact that we did not get there today. 
Um, however, that second match could have been a little bit better on the mana base. Um, it is what it is, and that is magic, my friends. With that, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you got a question, if you got a comment, still let me know what you think. Do you like the new additions here um, for this particular one? Certainly, if we would add hard-hitting question, we could have hit our opponent hard there on the third one, um, but we didn't. Now, with that as well, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here. On top of that, as always, thank you to our members. I appreciate that support. Memberships are available to you down below. I also got a bunch of affiliate links, great ways to support um, swag, merch, all that fun stuff. Something there for everyone, as I like to say. And don't forget our socials. At me, chat me, stay connected. I love seeing what you're playing. I love playing your list, my friends, because that's what I enjoy doing. With that, until next time, we'll see you again soon. And for everything else, there's always some magic.